Alright, hey, let's welcome back. We're in Bioshock Infinite, uh, the second DLC called, or I think it's the second one, uh, the uh, episode 2 of Burial at Sea. And yeah, let's continue on. She just doesn't doesn't hurt me or what? Okay, it doesn't seem to be hurting me, so let's go through here. What was okay, nice. I was a little bit worried there, but we got it at least. Wow, dang. Did they just... Sea slug. Did they just take out the... Whoa. Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Gonna hunt you down. Right, you do that, man. Uh, let me switch back to the hand cannon for now. Don't think you can hide from me. I ain't no private dick. Someone else can find hair sample in a haystack. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Silver Eagle. All right, haven't found it yet. Something down there, however we get down there. Oh, here we go. Okay, what's what was that code again? Let's figure it out. Got a code last part right here. What is it? Oh no, this one? Yeah yeah. Eight three seven one. Alright, let's do it. Three seven one. She's asleep now. Iron Sad Salt. Adds ability to recover some Eve based on absorbed damage. Oh, cool. We got some more Eve rations, shotgun ammo, just kind of like a little thing, a little stocking area. Alright, cool. Let's find out where the hair sample is, though. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? Shotgun ammo? Okay. Quarantine zone. Got a Vox in there. A Vox phone, I mean. Oh, hello. Any enemies around here? Let's see. Where does it want us to go? Over there, okay. Well, let's check out this other area real quick. Oh, how do we get it there? Return to your station. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Could I freeze it, maybe? What do you guys think? Uh, this. I don't think that did anything. <laughs> I uh, wonder how you get in there then. Can't break it with a shot. Huh, I don't know. Closed off limits. Can't get through there either. Okay, well, maybe we have to circle around or something? I don't know. And cannon ammo. to attach to this one? I don't think so. <laughs> Seems like Fink and Su Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutesses. Cross reality collaboration. Huh, yeah, something like that. Oh, here we go. What's this? Test subject inventory. Coffee. Seems to be over here, okay. Oh, it wants us to go that way. Okay, well let's let's check this out real first fast then. I don't wanna miss anything if I can avoid missing it. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. I think it's the same date, isn't it? 10 4 9 a.m. Yeah, I, th I think it's the same date. I don't think we need to keep watching the same thing. Yeah, no, that's the same thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, let's head down here. Where we were heading. <laughs> let's see what we got. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, like a gorilla or something? What is all this? Imprinting. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint in almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Crossbow gas ammo, nice. Maybe slightly worrying that I'm getting it though. <laughs> okay. Examine paper. What's that? It's a skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and... Songbird, 
damage to little girls? Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. <laughs> oh. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Yeah, that's kind of rough. There's something over here that I missed. No, not really. Okay. Let's continue on then. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly, they formed a connection between Songbird and me. Oh. I was so young. I. I always remember him just being there. Must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Doesn't matter. Is it gonna hurt me? <laughs> huh. Examine paper. They tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. The vent, I guess. <clears throat> See what we got. Oh. Songbird and printing on subjects. Booker. The little girl in the film. It's me. into the tower I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight I waited there thinking thinking I, I don't know that something would happen but but he just lay there moaning I, I couldn't just the line with the thorn in its paw so much for science I should have just left him there to die I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Mm-hmm. Definitely. What's this? Hair sample. Okay, nice. We got it. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all of the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. Alright. Well, let's get out, I guess. Hopefully there's not gonna be enemies here. It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out! Oh, got about to be enemies coming in. Oh, there they are. Wait, where do we need to go? That way. Okay. What's through there, though? That also opened. directions we can go. I don't know where we should go, honestly. I mean, we can go the way it wants us to go, but... Show yourself! Here Oops. I come!
Alright, that's not what I meant to happen, but I guess it works. Oh, it's my guy. Nice. My guy. <laughs> Pretty sure she should just go to sleep once it expires. Yeah. Nice. Might as well loot these guys while we have the chance. Uh, where does it want us to go? Over here. Okay. Well, I can grab some more salts at least, so that's useful. Oh, this is opened up now. It wasn't before. Nice. Alright, what does this say? It has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not oh, answer for something. myself? Hear this. Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. In case there's dialogue, oh. What you got there? And I'm just grabbing anything that looks halfway there. <laughs> Over here, say a leg. Uh, since when did you become Lord and Master? I don't think I need to attack them. Those guys must have been people I hadn't uh, explored yet. That was great English, by the way, on my part there. <laughs> uh, I don't think I checked this yet. Okay, take that, and then there's just a medical bag. Okay, we don't need that then. Oh, hello. Take those though. Definitely. Free money. Oh look, there's something up there. Events. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Let's check it out. Nothing over there. What about this side of it? Oh, is it just this? Oh, okay. Dollar bill. Alright, we're good then. I think this is the way we're supposed to go, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's return to the tear if we can. Probably wrap this episode up here in just a couple minutes or so. Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Booker thought he did. <laughs> Look where it got us. Right back where we started. Alright. <clears throat> Let's head back then. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No one take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, what the heck? Here you are. 
settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Alright, I think it was through here actually, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. What the heck? Pretty lady has the hair? Deal is deal. Bring it to Suchong. Alright, let's jump into the tear. Here we go. Return to Rapture. <clears throat> Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bad juju. Um. Uh, let's go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll catch you in the next part. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace.